So today I'm outside M Sport here in Cumbria. Cumbria. <laughs> so today I'm outside M Sport here in Cumbria in Cockermouth. Matthew Wilson is gonna give us a tour. Hey, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you. So first of all, I'll take you into our um, boardroom, which houses all the, the trophies. I love a trophy There's, room. Uh, some fairly special ones in here. Um, right through all the, the WRC ones which you can see. Um, there's even some Bentley ones, not as many as we want, but... <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> it's, it's coming. Matthew is the son of Malcolm, which is the CEO of this place and owner. Yeah. And I can see he have a picture of himself over <laughs> here. <laughs> when are we going to see you having a picture maybe on the other end? <laughs> <laughs> no, you won't see that. Not yet. <laughs> and I don't think he's going to slow down either, Andreas. No. So now we're from the, the old building, getting to the new. Um, and normally there's a real piece of history in here. Unfortunately it isn't here, but it <laughs> might be in the workshop and we can see it in a minute. It's uh, Colin McRae's safari winning car from, from 99, so a real proper piece of history. And um, yeah, we like to sort of link the old to the new. You can see a picture of the car right here. <laughs> so what's underneath this? Uh, I don't know. You don't you know? You might be able to tell me. <laughs> maybe I have a picture, maybe, I'm not sure. Yeah, so obviously now we're in the workshop. As you can see, it's quite busy and we're, we're sort of running out of space, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, hence why we're doing the new development. But sort of this side here is all um, M Sport cars. So yep. you can see uh, there's Eric Manelli's car, which has come back from uh, Mexico, been prepped for Corsica. And then further on down there, we'll see there's Sebastian's and Oit's car and, and Elmer as well. So you you need to tell me the story about this building because I know it wasn't a workshop a couple of years ago. No, it was well originally when we first came here and my dad was looking for a, for a new premises. Uh, this was actually an old uh, mental hospital, so a lot of people say it hasn't changed <laughs> from, from then to now. Um, but yeah, we, we obviously there was a lot of work to do. It's, it's changed a lot, but um, we've just outgrown it. Yeah. Massive. So many mechanics working on cars, different cars, and you know, this whole thing is gonna be a car one day. Your role in M Sport is with the Bentleys, right? Yeah, so yeah. My, my main role, obviously, I did driving for, yeah. for quite a long time, and uh, Unfortunately, it was just sort of it was difficult to keep to keep going at that time in the sport. There was only two manufacturers, and yeah. drives and rallying were quite scarce. So that was when my dad said, "Right, you need to get a proper job." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and as you can see, like the safari rally was a bit different than other rallies. Look at the ride height. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ride height is pretty I high. Actually, uh, I actually drove this car at the beginning when I was, I think, 17 or 18. Oh, yeah? I did some some local rallies. Uh, and I used this car, and huh. uh, I actually rolled it. You it did? Yeah, so that's my... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't normally say much about that one. No. <laughs> Do you know how many people work at M Sport right now? Yeah, there's now 235. 235. And we've also got... Uh, Greece working only with motor. I know in Norway, there is, I think, around five or six people working with motor. Is that all? Yeah. Sorry if the sound is a bit like this, because... Uh, Lots of stuff is going on in here and I can't really do anything about it. I can't ask 500 people or whatever we are <laughs> in here. Allow them to stop working. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Let's have a look at engineering and design. Yes. So basically this is uh, the Bentley office. So this is where all our Bentley race engineers work from. Always very much more quiet here. Yeah, we'll have to be yeah. more quiet. And, and we have this ball bag in here, Christian. <laughs> the, the big boss. The Hi, good to see you. Hello, man. Yeah. You good? Yeah, you? Why do you have the biggest office? Because I'm the, I'm the biggest guy. Can you see? I weigh 95 kilo now. So. <laughs> Obviously. A, a bit more quieter a bit in quieter, here. Yeah, exactly. Like, and uh, also, uh, the... you can smell somebody's thinking because it smells burning here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The layout of it all was really important when we, when we designed it, and it's the same for the for the new building. And we can actually see. Yeah. 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 This this area here is where the new the new uh, track test is. track will yeah. be. The track is is not far away from being finished, and then obviously the building is next. But it's. Uh, it's going to make an unbelievable facility here. Yeah. So, 
Let's move on, we'll have a look at some of the departments. We'll go to the engine department. Yeah. <laughs> so, so is this... This is Jason, by the way. Jason. Jason's Hi. Nice to meet you. Right. And the engine department. So is this the place I need to, you know, if I give them an apple, I can get a horsepower extra every <laughs> <laughs> He's the man to speak to. Okay, yeah. I don't know who, who to pay for the big money to. <laughs> so anyway, engine to put engine on the dyno and the control room and everything so it's um yeah it's, it's a great facility yeah and one that we want to extend as well and, yeah. and actually and, and do more even more in-house so. mm -hmm. a lot of technology it's crazy Thanks, <laughs> over there is all our mess from uh delivery shoots my new drone <laughs> <laughs> that's my little division and the rest <laughs> is the professional crew <laughs> so now we're into some really interesting things yeah any of your favorite car is in here? There's a few. There's actually one of even my old cars. Oh yeah? Um, but yeah, there's some history in here, so <laughs> we should uh, we should probably have a look. Yeah. So yeah, this is uh, some real history. This was Miko's car from Sweden. I, I love the Super 2000s. Yeah, this was... The, the engine sound and, you know, proper, no turbo, just pure sound, revs. This is an amazing car. Yeah. The chassis and everything of this car was, was yeah. fantastic. I did a lot of the early development yeah. um, for it and went and did um, uh, one of the European Championship rallies in, in uh, Scotland and it was an, yeah, just an amazing car. But yeah, this was, this was my dad's car. Yeah. This was built here, so uh, he did this. This RAC rally, the sort of yeah, a, a remake of the what was the old uh, RAC from from many years ago, and um, thankfully he he was dusted the rust off and he, yeah. he won the rally. So uh, <laughs> yeah, this is this is one that he wanted to keep. Have you seen the the Gymkhana Escort of Ken? Yeah, I drove it in Gymkhana grid in Greece last in. year. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so cool. I mean, the Mark II escorts when they squat in the exit of the corner and, and the BDI is Power. screaming is just pure, yeah, pure so much fun. So, we've reached the end, back to where we started. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, hope you enjoyed it. That's pretty much all of M Spot and give you a bit of an insight. Nice to see you. Good thank luck you. in Barcelona. And if you guys have any questions, please comment below. Uh, questions about M Sport and their builds and the workshop, I will try to reply as good as I can. Maybe we see this guy on a World RX event later on this year. Bye bye.